Well, I really like to know how uh, this one managed to come together. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened to the other half of the uh, the semi truck. I mean, if anyone finds it, hopefully they can let me know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, never, never a dull moment in uh, Properton. Uh, this one's for you, Brad. <laughs> And if you want a city full of car accidents too, why don't you consider using my instant gaming link to pick up City Skylines 2 at a great discount? Uh, check out the link in the description below. Hi everyone, my name is Pilot Build Cities, but you can call me Pilot, and welcome back to Properton. Uh, over here you can see our uh, tourism and uh, park area that we kind of built in the app last episode. We're going to come back a little bit later to that, but we'd like to actually just briefly turn our attention to uh, this area. Um, it's from early in my building of this city, and uh, honestly I think it's time to give it some love. Um, it was probably something I started working on, just trying to get figure out the uh, the game mechanics a bit better, and I've kind of neglected it since we moved into different parts of the city, so I'd love to come back and uh, revisit it and give it a bit of a uh, facelift. One of the first things I'd like to do is just uh, quickly get um, this highway connected up. So I'm going to take off the roundabout, we're going to bulldoze that back a bit, and we're just going to grab a bit of a flat pad. Um, somewhere probably right around here. We're just gonna actually take this out a bit. Um, just kind of grade out a little bit of the river. We'll clean it up a little bit later, but I'm gonna right click here and then just sort of slope right up to this hill here and try and give ourselves quite a bit of space to work in and then we'll uh, kind of fix it later on. And we're gonna do the same thing up to this uh, road here. And then while we have the game paused, I really need to fix this atrociousness. <laughs> so I'm going to back that off up to there. And then we're just going to right click from the top here. And uh, that actually didn't quite get everything. <laughs> that as well. And actually while we're at it, we're going to get rid of that as well. <laughs> and um, we're just going to slope right up to this area if it'll kindly do what I ask. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we'll grab our medium roads and get this nice and hooked in and with our curve row tool there and actually I just wanted to use this road instead and then we're going to grab our highway road and using the continuous tool we're just going to work our way kind of down the slope probably right from about here and just uh, get this uh, road finally nice and hooked up it's been kind of sitting uh, stumped in for a little bit and uh, it was time to uh, finally get it connected so we'll come up to here and then we'll get our guideline uh, about there should oops that didn't do what I wanted <laughs> uh, we'll get our guideline back I promise <laughs> and just use our curve road function to hook it in like so and yeah that finally gets our ring road fully connected. Um, it kind of basically loops around the whole part of, I guess basically around this part of the central city here. So I'm um, happy to have that finally done. <laughs> uh, and then we'll, we'll smooth this out a little bit uh, later on in the episode when I come back through to do some uh, detailing, we'll, we'll get it sort of all fixed up. But uh, yeah, next I'd like to move our attention to this area here. So again, it's been a little bit neglected, this uh, open part we've got random zoning here <laughs> um yeah you know a lot of low density housing that really probably isn't appropriate in this area anymore so uh we're gonna remove it um i've also got the rock musician mansion here and uh, we'll probably find a better home for that just a little bit later on but uh the first thing i'm gonna do is just dezone a bunch of stuff there we'll take this out as well all of this can go i'm just gonna grab the Selector. Um, yeah, we'll take all. Oops, wrong button. Take all this out. Uh, if I could actually press the button, and then we'll bulldoze it all. And uh, we are going to add in some more low density housing, but um, we're just going to slightly redevelop here. So 
Uh, I'll wipe all this out and then just be right back. Now that we got that all wiped out, I just want to move the Rockstar Musician Mansion, and I think actually... Uh, it says it's not suitable for over here, but I actually think this might be a not too bad of an area, so I'm actually just going to tuck it in kind of right behind here. Um, and I think that, that'll fit nicely there. So anyways, <laughs> game can't tell me what to do all the time. So <laughs> next I'm just going to upgrade the roads along here and I'm going to take this up into a four lane road uh, since this does kind of move in between our downtown area and the rest of the city. And since we have this uh, collector here, we're going to probably pull it all the way through the best we can. I think there's going to be a few spots where I just need to remove some pathing. <laughs> that was in the way and get this all upgraded through here as well and then we'll probably come back and might as well make the rest of it look nice we'll put the grass down the middle through to here this whole road is missing it I'll do that one as well and then we'll take some trees along there as well and get this whole thing nice and upgraded and we'll just check down here how does this yeah, I'd say this still works. Um, I think it looks fine. So a little jank in the middle, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, and then I guess while we're here, we are going to put a bunch of residential in. So let's get the grass along here and here as well. We'll add in some parking too. Um, and I want to take grass along this road especially because I <laughs> don't want vehicles parking there anymore. <laughs> so we'll get the sections that we can upgraded as well on that side of the couplet and we'll do this side as well and uh, we'll just leave the trees for now but um, yeah so I think up in this area here I'll just unpause now we'll zone in some uh, medium density housing and I don't want anything to clump close together and actually, I'd like to have a little bit more control over what we do. So I'm going to pause the game and just fill this zoning in. And then if we come into the home menu, and we go into North America Residential. And I think Medium. There we go. You can see there was like different options here. So if we grab this level one building, it's a six by six. Uh, we can just actually just plop it right on and it'll stay there which is great so we can kind of custom fill it in a little bit better so we've got uh, something maybe a 4x4 four four in this area and then we can squeeze a 4x3 uh, next to it as well I think and that kind of gives it a nice gap and then if we come into the 3x3s three we'll just place one there and one there and actually, I think that's going to work pretty nice. And then we can just sort of individually remove some of the zoning in between the buildings. And now they're fully growing in, and that saves us a lot of time. So I'm going to hop into a time lapse and uh, basically kind of work on this, and uh, then I'll be back with you. <laughs>
right, so that's all nice and uh, detailed. I just fixed some of our uh, neighborhoods here. So we're gonna put a new one in here, Pinewood Grove. Hillside Park is now uh, fixed. Um, this one is fixed and I need a new one probably for this area, but I just gotta figure out what we're doing with uh, some of the parts. So we'll have to come back, uh, back to that at a later date. But uh, yeah, just did some nice detailing down here for a little bit of custom plaza, the best I could. A little playground, fountain area. Uh, some eating areas and all that stuff so yeah pretty happy with how that's uh, looking and you know a lot of our zoning is done and our row homes have come in and I think it's looking a lot better um, you know the only thing I wish I really had was the forest brush maybe but uh, I'm sure modded is uh, hopefully just around the corner <laughs> so anyways we'll leave this as just open green space I think but um, this looks a lot better than it did so uh, one thing I'd like to do just over here next to the uh, cemetery is actually just put down a few of these upgrades. Uh, these basically just keep or uh, give us some well-being and this one does give a little more storage. So I'm going to put uh, one on this edge here and then one on the following edge and then in the middle we'll place uh, this asset as well. And uh, yeah, that just kind of cleans it up nicely and uh, oops. Uh, gives us a little more detail in that area and then I think what we'll do is just to kind of round off this area a little bit we'll just leave it as again some open green space but we'll just run a few paths around and kind of hook it in and give people maybe just additional walking opportunities so if we place a path there it kind of looks like they could walk further down even though unfortunately I don't think they can walk onto that but uh, you never know, so we might as well just do it anyways. And just place a couple more paths, like so. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave that like that. So for Pinewood Grove, what I'd like to do is, I'd like to put in some uh, low density housing here. Uh, we're just gonna put some sound barriers along the highway, just to kind of make this a little more comfortable for them to live in. And uh, we'll grab our small roads, and I'll use the asymmetric just to kind of keep up with our collector here that I'm sort of half making by using asymmetric roads. But uh, then I will grab the two lane road and the grid tool. And we're just gonna come probably straight out at a 90 as far as we can. I'm just gonna turn off snapping to, uh, to grid and zoning cell length. And we'll just take this out to about 280 and then just Sort of try and bring it straight down. Get our 280 back. I think right to about. Stick it there. And yeah, thankfully that's kind of gridded in really nicely. Um, surprised, uh, to be honest, because I tried this a few times during testing and it did not work out that well. So uh, we'll just smooth this back piece here a little bit. And then I guess while I'm here, we might as well just smooth that out a little more. And oh, that that wasn't supposed to flood, and that's surprising, but okay, maybe we'll just take our level terrain and slide that a little further out. Maybe take that height instead. That should just hopefully push the water out, and then we'll smooth that back a bit. S slightly unexpected, I didn't realize we're <laughs> getting high on the water level. Hopefully, some. Uh, Service vehicles will come by and fix that, but get that smoothed in there. I'll check on that later. Maybe I'll fix it off camera, but anyways. Uh, um, so I'll zone probably just basically like normal here, except what we'll do is we'll kind of take a zoning pattern. I think I've seen City Planner Plays uh, do this one, um, which he picked up from someone from his Discord. So we'll zone the middle. Uh, with some larger homes and I'm honestly like not too bothered if they come in a bit random like I don't think you um, neighborhoods always look super uniform but and then once there's a kind of growing in if we just zone down kind of the sides a little bit um, then we'll just grab some smaller homes and hopefully these uh, rents will be a little bit cheaper for some of our citizens to afford um, might have to make a few adjustments to the zoning because I forgot this is quite hilly but we'll see I don't think that was going to come in nicely but see how it uh, how it does <laughs> um, 
Might be okay up here. I think this part is a little bit flatter, so we'll just do a couple there as well. And then we won't place in too much, but we'll give them maybe a nice skate park. We don't want the land veil getting too high. And small park. And maybe we'll squeeze in. Where is it? Outdoor gym towards the bottom, maybe. And uh, yeah, we'll just let this kind of grow in and uh, that will be some of our lower density and maybe what we can do also on this uh, side here is just can click the right button uh, zone in a little bit more low density housing along the edge there and uh, we could probably even fit some up here behind if we just maybe grab a path real quick to fix some of our zoning up to there and we'll place down probably some larger homes or decent sized homes anyways again we can fit probably one there smaller one there just like so and then we'll let that grow in and uh, take a look at it so while some of that zones in i think what we'll also do is just take advantage of um, using the dev ui and if we just search hotel if you remember in the last episode i was kind of uh, annoyed <laughs> lack of hotels in the city and so I think what we can do is actually just put some right up by this um, museum here so we'll pause for a moment and just plop in we'll probably use some of the EU ones let's just see yeah I think these these ones here are nice and then if we just grab our zoning we'll switch to EU and I think it's does low work no it's high density okay so we'll put some high density zoning under that. And uh, we got some hotels there. And then I'm gonna pause and we'll just sort of smooth it back again a little bit. And then we've got lots of parking down here for the, the hotels to use. And actually, I think there's a good opportunity maybe for a little bit extra detailing and buying the hotel. So we'll push this terrain back again. And um, I think we'll probably take out the trees, at least some of them anyways. Just clear ourselves a little bit of space here out in the back. And uh, again, we can use the dev UI and we'll grab not that. <laughs> Let's take a look at the pools. Again, we've got. I don't need a bunch of pools. <laughs> little pool, a bit of a bigger pool. I'm uh, just trying to see what would fit, maybe size wise. These are quite small. But um, we maybe use a little bit of our imagination and uh, place down that pool there. And then, oh, these changes, you put them down. Okay. Don't hate that. <laughs> put that one there. And then maybe just one more. And then about this one. Maybe same thing on this side. Place one there, and another one there, and then did, I think we had a hot tub. Yes, I did do that already. <laughs> um, yeah, we could probably place in a few hot tubs as well. Maybe one here. Place another one there. And then if we come into our tiles, we have different tile surfaces, so let's see. Maybe we can grab this one and we'll just sort of extend it around the whole property. Maybe just up to here instead. And how does that look? Mm, I don't think I quite like that one too much for this. <laughs> um, what else do we have? I think we have. Maybe it's this one, but I might have used it a bunch already, but I can't remember. Yeah, I think that one will work, and then what we'll do is we'll use the other one kind of on this side. The same thing placed in. I'm not going to adjust it here a little bit better, but yeah, I like that tile. And then we'll just slide this over like so. 
And then probably just because I want to save myself from painstakingly trying to put in fences without a line tool, we'll just line it with some some bushes for now to sort of give it a bit of separation. And maybe if we go into boulders, which sound big, but they're not really that big. <laughs> and we'll just sort of do a little bit of boulder and bush detail. Sounds like that could be like a bar or something. <laughs> I wonder actually if there is any good bar assets. I haven't looked, to be honest. Bar. Uh, no, it just looks like barn. I don't think we well, full on barn back here, but uh, is there a sauna? No, okay. What we can also maybe do is grab some of these cool outdoor sofas and we'll place this maybe one there and another one here and maybe if we can get it around in a full sort of square I am totally making this up as I go just so you guys know I <laughs> plan for this fire um, is there, I, I think I looked once before, but I, I don't know if there's anything that actually works for like a fire pit. There's only just the fire rescue. No. Some of the stuff you know, I look in here, I'm like, oh, I would love that, but I think there's just a barrel fire and uh, that doesn't really work for what I want, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we can kind of go with that for now. Just put a couple more bushes in behind and then we'll get this terrain sorted. See if we can try and <laughs> smooth it back the best we can. Oops. Just like that. There we go, just gives it a little extra details in the back. <laughs> All right, so I know this maybe wasn't quite a very exciting episode for most. Uh, it was mostly detailing and fixing up a little bit of a neighborhood, but um, you know, I think it really just showcases what you can do with the, the dev UI and hopefully uh, future potential for the game when it finally gets modding capability. But um, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out uh, just off camera. I just kind of tried to play around with another little bit of a a plaza area just to kind of fill in some awkward space uh, around some commercial um, and then yeah we built uh, this one here um, I think that's turning out really nice as well so um, and then yeah we've got a few more buildings that we placed in ourselves down over here in this park um, so overall I think the space is are uh, starting to fill out nicely it was just sort of playing around over here as well and just fitting in some more assets and a little bit more trees uh, yeah, so in later episodes, uh, I think we'll probably at some point probably try and address this area since I'll uh, actually will be pulling the trains through at one point or at some point I should say so um, That'll probably be a project for a future episode But uh, if you did like today's episode, please uh, do consider giving it a like and letting me know what you think in the comments below And otherwise that'll be all for me today. So take care. Bye. Bye